here. I got some here for you. This one's just a just a lip, actually. like about the, we were talking about uh, those the, the was it the Bobby Hebb session in New York and the union rates and all that I'm guessing down here was it just like the Wild West were you guys just recording well we recorded well, whatever it came in the door mm -hmm. uh, at, at the first here at Thame it was mostly R&B things yeah. uh, uh, one of the first artists I worked with here was Etta James, and then James and Bobby Purify, and then later uh, Wilson Pickett and Aretha. And, uh, but it was mostly R&B. Mm -hmm. And then it's slowly a little rock and roll came in. But when my partners and I left here to go to Muscle Show Sound, our first artist was Cher, of all people. And that was 50 years ago. Uh, but she came in and the album she cut was not a hit album, but it was her first solo after Sonny and Cher. It was the first solo thing she did. And I, I liked that because I liked the variety. I liked to, you know, I don't want to do the same thing all the time. I like to do one thing and then another thing, then another yeah. thing. It keeps it interesting. I think that's what made, made it special in here. There was, you know, the variety of approach. Mm -hmm. You know, the adaptability, the, the service of the song, actually. Yeah. When I first started, I'd uh, play in st studio work. The first big recording was the Percy Sledge, Warm and Tender Love. And the night before that, I had driven home from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which is where the University of Alabama is, and I played a fraternity party that night with the rock and roll band. And then I, the next day, I'm in the studio recording Rhythm and Blues with Percy Sledge. And, uh, and it was a... A, a hit for him, not as big as When a Man Loves a Woman, but it was a hit. And so people would call thinking that I was a good player and they'd, they'd say, hire me on a session. So I had to learn quickly. <laughs> oh, well, that, they call thinking you're a good player? Yeah. And when I listened to that first session, you know, we cut Woman Tender Love, we cut It Tears Me Up, we cut several things that were, if I listen to them now, I think, gosh, those are pretty hard songs for yeah. a young yeah. rock and roll bass player to play, mm -hmm. but we did it, and it sounds great. I mean, yeah. Yeah, to go play one of those now, I would have to work at it to get it again. I guess I was just lucky that day. Addison, you were there, at the, you were there when it counted? Yeah, but it was good to have good people to work with, because Spooner and 
Roger and Jimmy and all the guys that we worked with, they were very patient with me because I was the new guy. Well, I think we were patient with each other and that yeah. helps, you know, nobody was pushing somebody to learn faster than they wanted to and, and so that, that, that really was important, you know, uh, to be patient.